Hey guys, it's Lisa from Lisa's Busy Nerding. This is a Lisa is Busy Crafting video, and I'm very excited to share with you Cricut Design Space 2.0. This is the brand new design space coming out from Cricut in the next few weeks here. Um, as you can see, first glance is very aesthetically gorgeous. There are some similarities obviously with Design Space, um, but you can tell it's a little more streamlined, more clean, more um, clear, and um, just very user friendly as far as the interface goes. So I'm just going to highlight a few of the favorite features that I have so far. There will be more videos to come, but I just wanted this to be a nice little introductory video for you so you could see what it is that I'm excited about with Design Space 2.0. Alright, the first thing is over here, and these are the different tabs for your design. And I like these a lot because they are easily um, clicked through and they kind of tell you what different things are, which is nice. I will show you an example of that, which also brings me to my second favorite thing is looking for images has become very easy. So when you look for an image for the first time, here are all of the images. It will show, this is by cartridges, you can also look by category. So you can see um, these different things here. And you can just look through all images. So it will start off, of course, with some of the more popular ones and those sorts of things. And again, like in the old design space, it will show you what you're subscribed to with your Cricut subscription. It will also show you things that are free with or without a subscription, and it will show you if you just want to buy a single image, how much that will cost. So for example, let's say I want to insert, let's see, something that is I'm subscribed to about this little reindeer here. Okay, so I'm subscribed to him here. I can see more information about it here. I can tell you that the name is Reindeer. This is the number that is associated with it. And this is the cartridge. So if I wanted to click on this cartridge, it will bring up all of the associated images from that cartridge set, which is really convenient if you're trying to go with a companion um, aesthetic here to make a card and do some layers and stuff like that. So that's that's a fun thing that we can do. So again, the images up here, sorting through them is very different and it's very user friendly and the different brands and just all of this stuff is completely different. It's a whole new interface that is designed completely with you in mind, which is incredible. So. Okay, enough splurging about that. Let's go ahead and insert my little reindeer image here. And then I will bring you back to the first thing that I shared with you that I really liked were these different layers here. So um, we have our image and selecting on these things is nice. I will make it a little bigger so you can see. All right, so if I click on this guy and I'm on my layers tab, there are these different options. And in the old design space, you could just click on one and it would do something. And I didn't know what these different things meant unless I watched a tutorial, but now if I just hover, it will tell you what this is. That it'll split the two overlapping layers into parts, what welding means, what it means to attach, what it means to flatten, and what it means to contour. Which is super nice because I did not know those things, and so now it will show you what those things mean. So this is great for new users. If you want to edit the image here, you can do the size, so you don't have to just do this. You can do this over here if you're looking for a specific width and height for a card or a um, applique or something like that. This will put it in the position on the mat that you can lock it into for cutting. Syncing, if you have multiple images and you want to match the color, you could do that here. Actually, let me bring in another image so I can, oops, so I can show you that. Let's bring in this heart. Okay, so if I decide I want the heart to match these rain, this reindeer, you can see that it's not quite the same pink. Also, you can tell over here. So if I decide I want them to be the same pink, so I can use the same color paper, I just drag it right down here, and voila, it's the same color pink. So that's pretty easy. Okay, the third feature I'm very excited about is the new canvas. They've updated this, and it's 
pretty fun. So if you bring up the set canvas, you can do a blank canvas, or you could do any of these. As we know, banners are very popular right now for different holidays and celebrations, and even just everyday banners are kind of fun. So they've added more templates for those. There's also all sorts of crafting ideas here. So beyond just the design space launch page there are in Pinterest, you can actually come here and kind of work with what you've got if you're designing a laptop cover or um, whatever you want to do, <laughs> maternity t-shirt specifically, that's cute, picture frames, whatever. I mean, they've really made this where you can do anything that you want to do here. If you're looking for a project, you can just pick and do. You can absolutely still do that. Or if you decide you want a little more flexibility and variability in your design, you can totally do that here. So this is the third thing that I very, very much like about the Cricut Design Space 2.0. So, all right, let's go with cloth napkins just for speed's sake here. Okay, so you can put your little images over here on the canvas. And if I decide what type of napkin I want over here, it's a beverage napkin, it's a luncheon napkin, it's a dinner, oops, it's a dinner napkin, whatever. Okay, so you can make the different sizes here or I can do a custom size napkin. And in this case, I can make it smaller. However, whatever size I want my napkin to be, I can adjust that immediately. It's unlocked. And do you see how fast this is responding? This is nuts, how quickly it's responding to this. I can change the color. I can do um, all of these things so, so, so quickly. So that is the third thing I really like about this Cricut. Design Space 2.0. So again, to recap, the first thing I like were these little tabs over here. The second thing I liked was the uh, ability to search images in a new way, in a way that was very easy. And the third thing I really liked was the canvas and how easy it is to incorporate your own canvas into a project and to edit it and um, really make it your own and work with it and adjust it and tweak it. And I guess, you know, I'm going to add a bonus fourth thing that kind of fits into all of these is just how snappy the response is to adjust an image size. I mean, look, there's like no lag here. This is just, it's absolutely incredible how the updates have made this user experience just incredible. So. This is my little preview of Cricut Design Space 2.0. Stay tuned for more videos about upcoming features and projects that I make with the Design Space and to learn more about what Cricut has coming up this year. Thanks for watching.